Good morning. Today, we're doing an experiment. Y'all bear with me, I've never done this before. But I'm going to try to do a reverse dip. And usually you want a square canvas for this, but I'm not getting any more paint supplies till next week. So we're just gonna, since this is my first time doing it, I figure we'll just use this and experiment. It is on video, right? Yes. So this is gonna be our base because I'm just about out of black, but for some reason, I have a lot of this bright blue. Probably because the phalo blue is my favorite. <laughs> so, that's usually what I've been using. And we're just going to smooth this out. Usually I use my hands for this, but... Well, yeah, I'm going to use my hands. I don't have time for this. Get another pair of gloves. This blue is gorgeous, so I'm not too stressed. I would have rather had a white or black background, but again, I'm almost out of black. And I am completely out of white. And for those that are not from this area, Louisiana is in the middle of an ice storm. So the roads are not safe. Yesterday, um, my momo, my grandmother, she's in her 90s. Her power went out whenever the storm started. So she went to my parents' house to stay with them but she likes to be home so as soon as the power was restored she wanted to go home so we brought her home yesterday and she doesn't live far from me and my parents me and my parents are only like a block away she doesn't live too far but it was uh just driving like those little roads was not fun. So to get the paint supplies that I need, I would have to go to town and the bridges are still icy and it's just not safe. It's so beautiful. Thank you, just started. <clears throat> I don't know, I just love blue. I do too. It's my favorite. Okay, I think that's good. Am I good. Could, am I no. You're not. Okay. <clears throat> so what is dipping? Um, well you'll see. We're gonna try. I've gotten this idea, Fiona Art. She is incredible and she is the queen of reverse dips. So that's where the inspiration mm -hmm. came from. I like this. how you're honest, like where you got the videos from. Can you hand me my torch? Like I like how you're honest, like where you got the, like the uh, reverse dipping idea. Yeah, because you want to always make sure you get credit where it's due. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop some bubbles. Okay, Doesn't so it look like it made a difference. It does. It pops little air bubbles. Okay, so this might be a disaster. Okay. If it is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it or not. But we will see. Hmm. 
It's just... Do you have any more canvases to use? Mm -hmm. I think they'll be fine. So, let's start. I think it's okay. Um... So what Fiona does, there's several methods that you could do this. I think I'm just going to do a circle since it's my first time. We'll just try to keep it simple. And I'm not too concerned about if this is directly in the middle. Okay, you're going to have to go over there because you keep bumping me. Mm -hmm. Almost out of this road, too. Yeah, so Fiona circles are like perfect. Mine are going to be wiggly and odd shaped, but I'm cool with that. It might help if I would open it. Fiona's are like perfect straight. Circles. Perfect circles, yeah. <laughs> And Nora says good morning. Yeah, she is. She was saying good morning to you. Ooh, hot mess express. It's okay. That's part of painting, is learning. Yeah. I think I have one more. I need this. No. Mm hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be a very abstract shape. That's okay. Is that black? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I think next time I'll do these, I'm going to pour the colors uh, in little cups and use like a popsicle stick. So that I actually have more control over these lines. restarting colors though? Kinda, yeah. <clears throat> how much do you have to do that? Hmm? How much, how long like do you have to do those paint? Like the circle? Mm -hmm. Not too much longer. If this doesn't turn out beautiful, I'm going to be so surprised. Well, you never know. Because I know, because I know for like 99.9%, .9%, no, probably 100% that this is going to turn out good. We mm -hmm. shall see. Put one right there. Okay, let's do another silver. And obviously, wasn't in the center because it's going to be a lot on top. That's okay. We might stretch this a little. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like an eyeball almost. Yeah, it does. It's kind of like cool. It's like a circular eyeball. Like if you look at it from like the from my point of view, like from the angle I'm in, it looks like an eyeball. Yeah. Like the red and black could be like the outlines of the eye and then the middle. Mm -hmm. Your painting could just be an eyeball now. <laughs> uh, and I think to end it, I'm going to use more of this green. And then maybe a zoom of red. I just did silver. I don't know if there's anything left in this. I don't think there is, but it might do. 
Let's see what we can get out of here. I'll try to just do a thin one of this. Oh yeah, it kind of ran out. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do another silver, and then we're gonna end with that green. This one. Yeah. This is one of my favorite colors. Is green. Is this teal or what? Uh, it says on the bottle, aqua green. <clears throat> Last one. It kind of reminds me of teal, you know? Yeah. But maybe this a little brighter. Okay. Let's try real quick just to pull this down a little. Nah, we're gonna try to stretch after. Yeah, I don't think it was stretching, was it? It was stretching the middle, maybe. Yeah. And then for some interest, we're just gonna pull through. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That looks very cool with the lines. And then um, this time we're gonna go out this way. I could learn my fractions in school with that. You could learn your fractions. I mean, I've all, we've already learned fractions in school, but I think now we're learning like the hard fractions, mm -hmm. like mixed okay, I'm gonna do and one proper more. and all those. This time, not going all the way out to the blue. The light has made it look very, like, cool. Mm -hmm. The middle may have got stretched out some, right? But it still looks very good. I like it. Okay. I don't, I don't <clears throat> so now, this is the fun slash terrifying part. We're going, let me see. Actually, can you give me those napkins up there? Napkins? Yeah. yeah. Or do you need me to get them? Okay. Okay. One sec. I like you. So, I think someday you'll become the best painter. That would be cool. We're going to use. start making millions of dollars or something. No. no, I think you could. You keep not uh, doing painting. I just want to have fun. Okay, so I just have a napkin and I have my little spritz bottle. And I'm just going to very lightly dampen it. I don't want it soaked. Well, I am saying someday you could become one of the best painters. Who knows? We're going to put it, try to put it right in the center. So much harder than it looks, guys. I can tell. And that it's harder than it looks. Lay it down. And then lay this one down. And we're just gonna very lightly press. It doesn't even matter if it, if it turns out bad, does it? Because it's, it's just art. It is just art, and this is my first time doing it, and this is really just a practice run. So, if it turns out terrible, then it just turns out terrible. But I think we're going to get a cool effect here. Just have to trust the process. Oh, wait, did it take the paint off the thing? 
A little. Not enough to be worried about. Okay. Uh, so, like, the picture will still be. Yeah. First, we're going to gather these corners. Gather these. Gather this. Like, oh, you know, like actually. Oh, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, we we are gonna oh, looks good. stretch just a little, not much. I kind of just want to leave it. I'm just going to pull down a little. That really added a cool effect. What are you going to do? Is it... I'm just trying to pull it down to make it a little bit more even. What are you going to do with that napkin? Do you need to... uh, I throw it away. Because yeah. that's a beautiful Keep piece pulling of pulling it down. Pulling it down. I'm going to bring that back up. But I really want to try to get this more down it's starting to drip at the bottom mm -hmm. kinda. yeah that's kind of what we want now it's like a mix but you don't want it too mixed you know that's mm -hmm. something you always told me <laughs> mm -hmm. but since you always tell me that i'm sure you're like you know not to you know mm -hmm. you're like a professional not quite now we're just bringing that back down a little. I think I think I'm gonna be happy with it after that. I might do something with those little edges. Will you hand me a straw? A straw? Mm-hmm. That's weird. Okay. Will you hand me a straw for? I'm just gonna blow those out a little. Wait, you're gonna... This is what makes art. Because you can use so many different everyday supplies, you know? Mm -hmm. Take a straw. <clears throat> I'm not loving that edge. You're not what? I'm not loving this part. We're going to try to just move this down a little. It's about to drip on you. Mom, it's about to drip on you. It's okay. Drips happen. No, no, no like, like, it's about to drip on your watch. It's okay. I kind of like the top. You yeah. do? Yeah. Because it's like a kind of like fade of blue. Yeah. I am going to try to bring it down. Yeah, I 
think once I have it down, I'll like it. Okay, so this is very abstract. But Definitely, I like, I like abstract. Thank you. Definitely have some perfecting on this technique to do. Like I like a lot <clears throat> of colors. Mhm. Mm I don't know. This is a learning experience, like I said, and I think it would just be so much better on like a square canvas. Kind of tempted to redo. What do y'all think? I think that's good. I think it's good. Unless you really wanted to redo. Hmm. I don't like that area. Uh, you could add something bright to it. Uh, Mom. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, I'm sorry. Let's just see what will happen if I do this. It's like uh, the little sponge things, you know what I'm talking about? The little sponge paintbrushes, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, that might have just ticked some people off, but I actually like this better. Yeah, it kind of looks like it faded out. Mm -hmm. I like all your paintings, so even if you mess up, I'd, I'd probably still like it. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> let's just touch up some of these spots that we have. I'm just gonna use my finger for that. And overall, this paint will dry pretty level. And I am going to torch this real quick. Okay. So, definitely not my favorite but it was just it wasn't for sight it was my first time doing this method and everything is a learning experience so i think next time it'll be better whenever yeah next time when i have some square canvases and i maybe i'll try to do like a spiral design instead of the circles i'll love it I would, I would love to do like a hypnotized design. A hypnotized? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. That's it for that one. I'll bring y'all in for a close-up. Okay, I really don't like that. So, we're going to try it again. This time, I'm making a spiral. And I can't really get back to my video setup. So, it I'm just going to put the napkin... And I'll show y'all what it looked like after. Here's the napkin. Okay, so I reworked it and I did a spiral instead of the circles. And now 
I flipping love it. <laughs> Yay. So it ended up not being a total flop. I haven't torched this yet. There's no silicone in here, so <clears throat> I'm not really anticipating a bunch of sales. Guys, I love it. I love it, love it. And I know it's hard to see with this light, but I'll try to do it that way. I'm so happy with it now. Even the little, the wisp. Okay, so turned a flop into a win. I'm very happy. Bye, guys.